Europe's energy commissioner is saying today that the situation in Japan is effectively out of control. This, as a nuclear watchdog, confirms a partial meltdown in three of Japan's nuclear reactors. My next guest knows a lot about those specific reactors. He and three of his colleagues resigned from General Electric 35 years ago because of flaws they believed could lead to a devastating accident. Former GE nuclear scientist Dale Rittengauer joins us right now. Now, Dale, are the reactors in question in Japan among those you had concerns about? Are they GE reactors or part of them? Yes, uh, they are all, well, five of the six units at uh, Fukushima Daiichi are Mark I reactor, uh, GE reactor type reactors uh, in Mark I containments. Unit number one was actually built and furnished by GE. Uh, the others were uh, a GE design by either Toshiba or Hitachi. But and basically, what's wrong with it? What's same. wrong with it? And what was wrong with the design from the get-go that you had problems with? Well, the problem with the Mark I design that I was familiar with back 35 years ago was we found that those containments had not been designed to withstand the, the maximum loads that they might experience in the event of a major loss of coolant accident. Uh, so we had to mount a, a large reanalysis re program to figure out if those plants would be able to withstand that, if they should be immediately shut down, or if they should be modified, uh, and to figure out what to do about it at that time. And what was the conclusion? Well, the conclusion was that, yes, there were a lot of problems. There were thing, uh, major, major modifications that had to be made to the containment structure, uh, reinforcements, uh, uh, splash deflectors, surge deflectors, uh, hold down bolts, uh, stuff like that. And as far as I know, those modifications were or should have been implemented at Fukushima. I don't know because I left GE uh, in 1976 before those modifications were made. All right, so you left actually years before we even had Three Mile Island, many years before we had the plant situation in Chernobyl. Now, GE, for what it's uh, worth, uh, we put out words that they said they have a very good safety record, very good track record, um, that that's not in question here. Others have said these were unusual events, a tsunami of this magnitude. Uh, was something that you couldn't plan for, but that by and large the plan has in fact held up. The loss of power, which we're told for Tokyo Electric, will be restored within hours, uh, proves the point and that everything will be up and running. You have your doubts. I have my doubts. I think it's ludicrous to say that the, pant, the plants withstood that. Uh, you just have to look at the condition of those plants right now. We have three reactors that are either melted down or partially melted down or certainly with major fuel damage. We have a fourth reactor, spent fuel pool, that apparently has boiled dry and is releasing uh, radioactive material to the atmosphere un in an uncontrolled manner. We have no power, no off-site power coming into that plant. It's being worked on. Uh, so but, you have uh, your doubts whether they can avoid a meltdown here. You think that the, the no, common uh, comments to the contrary, you don't buy it. Uh, I don't. I don't know if they can avoid a meltdown. I, I think, uh, from what I can see, from what's been reported, they've already suffered at least partial meltdowns. There's no. Re there's no way that the things that could that are happening there could happen without partial significant fuel damage, the hydrogen explosions and the release of radioactive materials. I think on Unit Two, it appears that there has been a major break of some kind in the reactor containment system and that's where some of the releases are coming from all right i will watch it very closely thank you very much